Keybase LE4 latency fix. Okay, first thing you want to do is connect a microphone to your interface device and turn live monitoring off so that you can put the microphone in front of your speaker. We're going to open a new project. We want to use the the audio tracks, any audio track um, setup will do. Um, we need playback monitoring though as well. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is record a click. We're going to use that click as a reference point. So you can click your fingers or you know, hit a muted string on a guitar or something, anything like that. Okay, that'll do us. We go back, we expand this a little so that we can see what we're doing. And we zoom in down on the right hand side so that we can see the, the track there. There's actually a delay there and you can see the two the two envelopes from the from the delay. Okay, the next thing we need to do is record on the second track the playback from the first. Okay. We expand that one out so that we can see it. And As you can see, there's the latency there. You can see that the second track is trailing the first. So we need to change our scale up the top here to samples. Okay, you can see that the, the sample, the scale is at 70, 71,000 with the first track and about 75,000 with the second. So that sort of indicates that it's around the 4,000 sample mark that the second track is late by. Okay, we'll delete that one. We'll go devices, device setup and make sure VST audio system is the one that's highlighted here. Uh, you want lower latency and adjust for record uh, record latency. And we're going to change our samples to 4000. Press enter. Apply it. OK it. And then record the first track onto the second track again. Okay, we go back and as you can see it's a lot closer than it was. So now it's only, it's very, very nearly with it actually. Okay, we'll delete that one. We'll go devices again, device setup, we'll change it to 4400. Press enter. Apply, OK it, go back to the start, repeat the process. OK, as you can see it's still just trailing it a little. So we'll increase it some more. 4,800. Samples, apply, OK, delete the second track, record again. OK, and there we go. That's nailed. It's exactly on. And you will find from time to time it will vary a little bit, but it will be 
well and truly good enough for anything that you'd want to do at home. Um, you'd never notice it. It's not like it was or it is when it's at zero samples. And that's it. That's how you do it. Enjoy.